what's going on with y'all it's your boy neo xo and today i'm bringing you my predictions for black clover chapter 266 y'all go ahead and leave a like it really helps out the channel and subscribe with bell notifications on if you are new but moving right on into talking about the next chapter this chapter should release in seven days so we have seven days to talk about what we think is going to happen and right off the bat what i think is going to happen is going to be some type of training and the reason i believe this is because we see Noct telling asta that he's going to make him into a very skilled fighter or pretty much the main central point of the task force that they're creating now we're not really certain on what members they're going to be putting in the task force or the special force or special squad whatever you want to call it i like to relate this to whenever they made a special squad in order to defeat the elves back in the elf arc i think this is a very similar thing and in this one i want to see more powerful people because yes we have some very powerful people whenever Mirio leona was the leader of that squad if you guys don't know what i'm referring to i'm referring to the royal knights i don't really know why they call it that because they have people in there who are obviously not royal such as asta and you know if you want to count him now you know actually is royal but most people don't know that and they're honestly just finding out asta just found out like last chapter or so so i don't really know why they call it the royal knight squad but hopefully they have another cool name for this one and with this one i think it's going to be more focused around the captains because in the royal knights they only had about three or four captains i want to say mario leona they had nozelle real and I want to say that's it. I might be missing one though, but I want to say that's it. That's all they had was three captains in that squad. Now we did have some powerful people like Yuno. Definitely Yuno really showed out in that squad, but for the most part, it was people who were under the captain level. You know what I mean? So on this one, I think we're going to have more people who are captain level and that's, that might be controversial because you know, people say Yuno is captain level, but I mean, I'm going to be specific specifically designated as a captain of a squad okay so now that's very specific no one can get confused by that so moving on i really think that obviously noct is going to be a part of this guy and i'm I, i'm going on on a tangent but y'all follow me here so noct is going to be in that squad 100 percent i think that Yuno is going to be in that squad 100 percent i think that asta is going to be in that squad 100 percent i think that it will be a good idea to include charlotte in that squad just because she has a very you know her story is very intertwined with captain yami's we know that captain yami saved her way back in the day so she eventually needs to go and save captain yami i think this might be a good time for her to actually go and save captain yami because she the way i see it i don't know if other people see it like that y'all could disagree or agree in the comments but the way i see it is that captain yami rescued her very early on in the black clover timeline so eventually charlotte is going to have to rescue captain yami this can be a very good time i'm not saying it's going to happen for certain but i just feel like it's supposed to come full circle y'all could disagree but I, I feel like that so who else do i think is going to be in the squad um i think that noel and the people who are in the heart kingdom might actually go on a different squad because they weren't in the clover kingdom at the time of this meeting they're in the heart kingdom or specifically they're in alicia and that's like kind of the newest area of the black clover universe that has been discovered or ha at least has been presented to us the reader it was presented in chapter 265 so yeah the most recent area and it seems like the elves are going to repopulate there hopefully i want to see more elves or maybe we just might be with the five right now because we have five we have no actually i think we have six patri veto raya we have fauna we have the two elf children so yeah six and i feel like they're gonna be a squad and then they're gonna have another squad lead it by noct i believe that patri is pop probably gonna be somewhat comparable to noct in strength so patri will definitely be able to lead his own squad i think that probably xenon vonica and dante i doubt that they're all going to be at the same place at the same time so maybe patri squad can now this is all just speculation these are just my predictions now i think maybe pot if everything goes how i'm saying i think maybe patri squad can actually you know take on one person probably patri squad might take on somebody who is more directly related to captain uh william because patri's you know his best elf friend their human best friend you know they had kind of had shared a body you know it would be in his best interest to go and save him and i think a lot of people are predicting that something like that to happen so we're definitely going to see the elves go and help not necessarily the elf children i do want to see their mana capabilities but they seem kind of young 
it appears that the older elf boy has a grimoire so i want to see how that works i don't think he's old enough to fight it's he it's, it's really confusing a little bit it's not confusing i want to i don't want to say it's confusing i want to say that it's unclear at the moment because we haven't been specifically told how old the boy is we know that people usually get a grimoire around 15 and if it is indeed true that he has a grimoire then we might be seeing him maybe fight but again he seems kind of young but then again they're all young you know what I mean? They started their journeys at 15. They're all pretty young, so we never know. We might see something from the elf boy. Not necessarily the elf girl, but you know. So next chapter, we're definitely gonna get some training. If we don't have any training, I'm definitely going to be very surprised, but it can happen. We know Tabata likes to surprise us a lot. Like literally every chapter, he throws in something that surprises us a lot. And so, but I, I think that the reason that it's going to be training is because it's kind of leading up into that. They said they have like three days. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. And they have to train in that amount of time. So they have to train Asta. And the elves already agreed to train Noel in the rest of the game. Now, I believe that probably all of the people who are in the Heart Kingdom are going to get ultimate magic. Now, this is a possibility. I'm not going to say 100% for a fact because we see Magna went into the heart kingdom trying to learn runes and he couldn't so it could be kind of the same situation where all of them can't learn ultimate magic let me know what you guys think on that one but i feel like noel is definitely going to get it i feel like that's a no-brainer noel is going to get ultimate magic i'm calling it now everyone i think everyone agrees with me on that point i think that's a pretty well received prediction from everyone in the community so noel is going to get ultimate magic is i don't know how it's gonna work because they don't have that much time to prepare so she might have to learn this very quickly now she is a royal so she might be able to pick up on this very quickly we'll just have to see how that plays out now asta on the other hand i think asta is gonna get some very good training from knock i feel like knock's gonna beat him around a little bit and force him to kind of you know kind of uh make him have no choice but to get stronger Maybe hit him with an attack that might kill him if he doesn't get stronger. Something. You know what I mean? And I think Asta's going to be talking to his anti-magic devil even more. Because Nox seems to have a good relationship with his devil. And so does the Dark Triad. Now, it does seem kind of parasitic. The relationship between the Dark Triad and their devils. But when it comes to Nox, Nox devil seems a little bit more calm. And, you know, actually seems like he's in the best interest of Nox. At least from what we have seen so far. So... Asa's anti-magic devil, a lot of people have saying have been saying that his anti-magic devil is going to be pretty much good to Asta. They say they don't really sense any sinister behavior from his devil, which is still yet to be seen. I can see lately Asa's anti-magic devil is definitely kind of on Asta's side, in my opinion. But early on, it could have been debatable. So we'll just leave that there. I think they're going to have a better relationship moving forward. I think they're definitely going to need to in order to rescue Captain Yami. Now, that's what I think is going to happen immediately in the next chapter. Moving on further down the line, I think that Captain Yami is definitely going to get rescued. I mean, there's a chance that he can die, but I feel like if he were to die now, it would be kind of like he's dying when he doesn't need to because they can rescue him. Like, it seems like there would be, you know, all right, I'm going to explain this the best way I can. It seems like they're they would if he dies now they dragged out his death it's kind of like they told asta okay asta you have a chance to save him oops i couldn't save him now he's dead you know what i mean i feel like if captain yami dies he's gonna have to have one more fight after this because it wouldn't be right to me to see captain yami die and then not die like di as a direct you know something like a one-on-one -on -one or rescuing somebody or something you know what i mean like he's kind of I can't see him at basically what I'm trying to say in, in, in short terms because the video is getting pretty long. I'm going to go ahead and end it after I say this. So basically, I can't see him dying without having like a direct blow from a battle. I can't see him dying as a sacrifice to open up the underworld, but that's just me. Maybe you have a different opinion. So those are my predictions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. As always, it's been your boy NeoXO and I'm out.